What's up, B-Timers? Let's open up the newest Hot Wheels 2020 Toyota Tacoma from HW Drift. This is a brand new recolor in this really cool looking light blue color. And it's got sort of a matte texture finish to it. So it's not glossy. It's like a satin finish to it, which I really think is cool. I really do like that. Look at the detail on that front end right there. From the side, we have the rigid written on the side, Bilstein shocks right there. Nice tampa work for those front lights as well. We got the mudded out tires on there as well. Tacoma written on the back of it. Nice black bed in there, sunroof on the top. Just an all around great looking new Hot Wheels recolor. 2022 Ford Maverick Custom from HW Hot Trucks, new for 2024 casting. And this one is all lowered out, fully customized. Look at that titanium chrome on the back. Titanium chrome is in the interior as well and on the front right there as well. Pretty cool looking truck all lowered out. In real life, I'm not really a fan of the Maverick style trucks. I think they're just too small. I like the Rangers and the F-150 is a little bit better. These wheels though, they're kind of weird looking, but I guess they do kind of suit the truck nicely. From the front end, you can see the nice stamping for those lights right there. And all around, I mean, I would probably probably say I'd give it a 7 out of 10 on this one. Volkswagen ID Buzz from HW Vans. And we saw this one originally released in a yellow and now we've got it in this nice bright vibrant orange color with the white that goes around right there. There's that front end right there and this is obviously if you don't know it's an electrified van, an EV van in real life. I mean it's kind of a love or hate it, uh, maybe not, maybe, I'm kind of in between. I don't really love it or hate it but the chrome wheels on here look cool, the color is pretty cool the van itself i don't know how well it's going to do in real life as far as sales go but it does make a good hot wheels car 92 bmw m3 from hw the 90s and this one is in like a mustard yellow color not really sure if i like it or not i'm more of a fan of the brighter yellows but this kind of off mustard yellow is not really my thing. It is metallic though, so it does look pretty cool in that sense. No detail on the front end. Look at that, that is pretty bad right there on that front end, but they've left all the stamping for the side. You can see that BMW M kind of coloring on the side. The wheels look pretty good on this one. On the back, no stamping at all either right there. And we do have the spoiler with paint on it, but it looks like we've got a little bit of an air on that paint right there. So overall, the car itself is cool. Uh, the execution of it in a mainline Hot Wheels, I would say not very good. Chevy Silverado from the Then and Now series. And this one I've been excited to open up. Check that out. The stance of this one all lowered out looks so good. The chrome all on the inside, the pinstriping on the side. I love these wheels all nice and big. Even this one like tucked in nicely right there. Chrome grill on the front end right there. Clean paint job all around, just check that out. Just a great one to collect. I mean, there's been many color variations of this car, but I really, really like it. Every time they release a new one, I think it looks better and better. Formula E Gen 3 from HW Race Day. And this is a new for 2024 casting as well, the Formula E Gen 3 car. We can see that E written on the side right there. Really cool design. Look at the paint job, how it fades from the front in the middle and the back. So this is actually, I don't think it's paint, I think it's stamping that does that, but they've done a great job at it. I'd love to see more of these color fade paint jobs that they have right now. And we can see that nice aerodynamics in the front end. Wheels, I think, suit this very, very nicely. You can see that spoiler in the back end. And Formula E cars are just super, super fast, and they are the next generation of race cars. What do you guys think of this Formula E Gen 3 from Hot Wheels? Diora 2 from the Then and Now series. Shout out to my boy Drifter D, he loves the Diora too. But this one, you can see the surfboards in the back, the nice engine on the back end right there with the chrome. That crazy looking spoiler right there looks really, really cool. Look at those wheels on there and the front end, you can see the tinted windows. Just a such a unique design on this one. I gotta like this one. And I remember way back on one of the Hot Wheels Legends tours, I saw one of these in real life. They made a real life variation made out of the fantasy car, but just a cool looking Hot Wheels car. I've always liked the Dura too as well. Pagani Utopia from HW Exotics, new for 2024 casting. 
and the Pagani Utopia is the replacement of the Pagani Waira in real life. Really cool design that they've done on this one. Look at the front and very Pagani-esque right there. No denying that it's a Pagani from the side. It's more of a uh, more of a supercar, hypercar type of car, I feel, than the previous generation's Pagani. The way that it's light out, the way that it's a little bit wider looking, the stance is just a little bit better. Just a really cool looking car. This color, though, is really not for me. Personally, I don't really like the color, but the casting itself, the design of the car, I think is really good. And I can't wait to see some future updates on this one from Hot Wheels and possibly even in a premium. Car da Asada from Fast Foodie Treasure Hunt. And we can see that it's a treasure hunt. We look right on the bottom, you can see the treasure hunt logo, and then we'll see it on the car once we open it up. And there it is. You can see the big white tires on there colored. You can see all the taco toppings and stuff. It's kind of like a taco itself. And if we look on the very top right here, you can see just right there is a treasure hunt logo. So we can confirm that it is a treasure hunt. And on the back, you can see that kind of engine spoiler type of thing mixed in right there. Just a all around, just a crazy looking Hot Wheels fantasy car. I've always liked the car to Asada and I think it's kind of cool as a treasure hunt. 77 Pontiac Firebird TA from Muscle Mania. And this is the mainline variation of what would be a super treasure hunt from the 2024 Hot Wheels L case. But this one as a mainline, I think looks fantastic. Check out that, the bird on the front, the Trans Am logoing right there. Really, really cool. No detail as far as those lights go. We got lots of cool striping on the side. The Firebird logo just right there on that kind of roofline area. The T-tops on this car as well. These wheels and tire combination, I think look really, really good. And there it is from that side chrome base on here but all around i think it's still as a mainline car this is a really really good design i love this satin finish paint job on it too flipping fast from hw celebration racers and if you're not familiar with the flipping fast casting you can see this one right here you can turn it upside down and you can roll it whichever way you want to so it kind of flips around and then this the guy on the inside, he can also flip around, although it's the same either way. So I'm not really sure what the point of that is, but kind of cool how they have this one right here. It's kind of a, a double car. You can see even the spoiler, like this is the right way for that spoiler. And then the bottom like lip one, then you turn it around and it looks like the spoiler from that one. So it's a, it's a just an interesting design Hot Wheels fantasy casting. You guys let me know what you think of this one. Five Alarm from HW Metro. Kind of odd to see a blue fire truck, but here we go. We've got one and we got the ladder that comes right up as well on this one, which is pretty neat. Chrome all on the bottom, then that light blue on the top and that continues all the way around. We got the colored lip on the wheels blacked out, of course. And then on the bottom, you can see it's all blacked out as well, but it's an interesting recolor for a fire truck. I'm not really sure what to think about it. Although I do really like the color itself. I think the color itself is good on a lot of other cars. Not sure if it suits the fire truck though. 1970 Dodge Charger RT from HW Art Cars. And our art cars, of course, all have some crazy designs on them. You can see that one from the side it looks really interesting with the big Dodge logo right there. On the top, we can see the I written on there. The front end, you can see that nice chrome engine sticking out and all the different design that it has continued. Charger down this side, so you can see it's got Dodge on that side charger on that side with the interesting wheel tire combination as far as colors go it's interesting as an art car i'm not really sure sure what to say about this one though i mean it's it's kind of weird looking design i don't know you guys let me know trouble decker from hw fast transit this is a new recolor of trouble decker we got the orange on the top the blue on the bottom we're seeing a lot of orange and this blue with a lot of cars today. I don't know why, maybe this case just has a specialty of those. But nonetheless, I think the two colors look good. And I mean, there they are mixed together. Kind of reminds me of the Gulf livery colors. That's kind of like similar colors to it. This is always, I thought it was an interesting design car, the Trouble Decker. It's kind of like a racing drag bus. And I mean, in the unofficial Gulf livery. So there you go. 1994 Audi Avant RS2 from Factory Fresh. 
This is an interesting kind of a tealish green color on this one. It's got some metallic in it. It's very clean looking, so no extra striping or anything like that, but we have the nice stamping on the front end right there, the Audi logo on the front end. Looks kind of lowered a bit. I'm not really sure if that's supposed to be like that in real life or not. And on the back end, you can see the stamping for the lights, the Audi logo. It's got some sort of little logo right there. I'm not too sure exactly what that's supposed to mean, but overall, it's, I mean, I'm not really a huge fan of this type of car. I don't think we ever officially got them in North America either, but it doesn't look too bad. Ducati Desert X from HW Drift. And it's not often that you would see a desert or a rally Ducati, but this one is definitely it. Mostly Ducatis are like the street bikes, but this one's got that off-road mud style tire wheel combination on there, Ducati written on it. You can see the front end, very Ducati lights on this one. Overall, I mean, it's kind of cool. I do really kind of like it. I'm, I'm a Ducati fan, not really much into the other style of motorbikes though, but still pretty neat. Mazda RX-7 from HW First Response. And this one's got the police on the side of it. I think it's probably a Japanese police car. Correct me if I'm wrong though. Very, very high gloss black on this one. Nothing much on the rear. Got that nice lip spoiler on here. Got the nice kind of goldish chrome wheels on there. It's got the pop-up headlights, but obviously they are not popped up. It's got a little bit of striping on the front there for the police, but overall, I think it's a pretty cool looking recolor for this one. 67 Lotus Type 49 from HW Race Day. And this is a new for 2024 casting as well. It's got the number five written on the side of it. These wheels, I think, are very fitting for an older style race car right there. Got the guy on the inside of it. I don't know if this car is significant in history of any sort. I don't really know my history on these older style race cars or anything like that with the number five on there. Big exposed engine and white on the bottom, which is interesting color choice for this one. I guess the white continues because of the guy that's white on the inside right there. So it kind of continues that right through. I'm not really sure, but overall, I mean, uh, not really my thing of a car. I'm not really sure what they're going to do with this one as far as recolors and stuff go, but there you are. Terra Tractal from HW Track Champs. And this is a track fantasy car with the big white wheels on there. Plastic body for this one. Interesting design on the rear with the points right there. I guess it's supposed to be some sort of weird off-road car, but I feel like this one would be really good down the track. I don't, I'm not sure why. I feel like the way that the, the big wheel tire combination, I feel like it rolls really well. It's going to be aerodynamic. We'll have to try it out and see how well it does. Groomobile from HW Screen Time. And this is a Minions car and we've got all these weird things on it. I don't even remember it in the Minions movie. I guess it's been a long time since I watched the Minions movie. So I'm not really sure if it's supposed to do anything. It's kind of a weird Hot Wheels car. I mean, here, you guys have a look around with it. You guys can probably tell me more about this than I can even tell you, but it's just, it's just weird looking. It's definitely not my style, not my thing at all. And I'm, I don't really know why it's in a Hot Wheels format. And I feel like this part up here, it kind of like feels like it moves and comes apart. Maybe it does come apart. Do you guys know? Can you guys tell me if this thing comes apart or if it's supposed to do something? I don't really know. Boom Car from HW Ride-Ons. And this boom car, we got the big boom kind of cannon style thing on the back end. And it fits a little like a Lego guy really, really nicely. You can fit him right through and then he can hang on to that little front right there. The handlebars got the white tires on here. This is just a simple recolor, got the flames on it. Nothing too special on this one, but there is your boom car. Limited grip from Rod Squad. It's a cool color on this one, kind of a matte green color on this one. Lots of striping on there, colored wheels on here. And this is a fantasy truck, but they've done a pretty good job at it. You can see the exposed engine on it, the push bar on the front end, got the Hot Wheels written on the top right there with a little bit of a flag and limited grip, it says on the side of it. Overall, it's kind of a cool fantasy car and I do kind of like it. I feel like this color suits it very, very nicely. And there we have all of the new Hot Wheels that we opened up today. Give me a comment down below. And let me know which one's your favorite.